In this video I want to write a service by using RxJS and then convert it to the signal so you can see the difference. So signals is a new approach inside Angular and a lot of people consider that this is a full replacement of RxJS. Essentially it is not true but for some cases it is extremely easy to convert RxJS to signals and the code is much more readable and easier to support. So what we have here is just a single input and we want to implement adding of the users to some state inside our service and it must be reactive. Here is my markup, I just have here a form with a function on user add and inside my component I simply have this form and on user add method which does not do anything but simply creates a new user and resets the form. I also created here our user interface with ID and title and an empty service. So now let's start with implementing it in a RxJS approach. What we typically want to do is create a behavior subject where we will store our data and make them accessible everywhere. And we want to make this behavior subject private so it is isolated and is available only for read-only through public method. So here we can create our users property and this is a new behavior subject. The type inside will be user interface array because we are storing inside an array. This is why the default value is also an array. Now here we want to create get users method which must return for us an observable of our user interface array. This is important because this is our public method to get access to this behavior subject. Here I want to return this users dot as observable. In this case it is only available as an observable and we can't modify it as a subject. After this we need two methods, add user and remove user. So first of all here let's create add user method and here as an argument we will get a user which is our user interface. This function returns void and we simply want to throw this user inside our array. So here we can use our users behavior subject dot next and provide inside updated users and this updated users we must create. So our updated users is simply this users get value. This is our array, we can read it from behavior subject and we pass inside at the end our new user. Now this line will update our stream of data and the similar stuff we are doing with remove user. So we want to remove a user and in this case we want to provide inside a user ID which is a string. Now here we want to create our updated users where we must remove the user by user ID. This is why here we can use this users get value. This is just an array. We can apply here filter, get access to every single user and check that its ID is not equal our user ID that we provided. Which means we are rejecting this item. After this we can simply update our stream by using next and providing inside our updated users. This is exactly how we are using RxJS typically to create some stream of data and create some methods to modify the stream of data. Let's try to use it now. We must jump inside our TS file and what we want to get here is our users as a stream. And in order to do that we can write this dot user service dot get users. This method is returning for us an observable of user interface array. This is exactly what we want. We can jump inside our HTML and simply render here within G4 this stream. This is why here let user of users with dollar and here we must create an async pipe. Let's close this div and simply render inside user.name. After this we must implement removing of our user. This is why here let's create additional span with cross inside and here I want to create a click event which will be remove user and inside we must provide an ID of the user that we want to remove. So let's create this remove user function now. Inside our TS file here on the bottom we can create remove user and we are getting our user ID which is a string. Here we are returning void and we simply need to call our method from the service. So here this user service remove user and we're providing inside user ID. We don't need any subscriptions. This stuff will simply modify our stream of data and this data here will be updated. Additionally to that in our on user add we must call adding a user to our state. This is why here this user service dot add user and we're providing inside our user. 
Let's check if our code is working. I don't have any errors, let's check in browser, here is our input. I'm just typing something and hitting enter, and as you can see we successfully added our user to the list. I'm typing again and again, and we're adding new users. Now here we can click cross and then this user is removed. How it is working? We have the call of this method from the service, it is either add or remove, and then inside what we are doing we are updating our behavior subject, and then our stream is rendered. This is exactly how we are building states previously inside Angular with the RxJS. Now let's refactor this code completely to the signals, and it is not a lot of work. First of all, we don't want here behavior subject, we need here a signal. This is why here, let's create a private property, users signal, and we are calling here signal with initial value, which is an empty array. Here we must provide a type, just like inside the RxJS, and this is user interface array. So now here we have a private property, which is a signal and not like here a behavior subject. Now here our getUsers method must return not an observable, but a signal. And it is a signal of user interface array. Now inside, instead of as observable, we want to return new computed. And inside we are providing our this dot user signals. What it does, it returns the read-only value of our signal, which actually means we are getting the signal inside our component, but we can't modify it. We can simply render it. Now let's update our add user. Instead of this code, we can simply use this user signal dot update. And here we are getting access to our list of users. And we can use here spread operator just like we did previously. And we are spreading our users and we are adding user at the end of our new array. Again, the code is similar. Instead of next, we are using here update. And now let's implement removing of the user. Here actually we can leave code like this because we need updated users, but instead of this users dollar get value, we can write this users signal with round brackets and it will return for us an array. This is why here we are still using filter and back we are getting just an array of user interface. After this we can fully update our signal by calling this user signal set and we are providing inside our list of updated users. Again, previously it was next, now it is set, not a huge difference. Now let's remove this code that is commented out, we don't need it anymore, it was a RxJS version. So now our service is fully based on the signals, we just need to change how we are using it inside our app component. So the only thing that we need to change is this user's property, because essentially it is not a RxJS, we don't need dollar here, but it is user's signal. As you can see here, the type is signal of user interface array. And we don't need to change this add user or remove user, because these are just methods, we don't care what is written inside. But as we have now this user signal, we must jump inside our HTML and remove an sync pipe here. Now we will have here user signal with round brackets in order to access our array of users. As you can see here, we don't have any errors. Let's jump in browser and try to type something. I imagine here user and as you can see, it is working out of the box, just like a RxJS version. Here we can also remove a user that we created and it is also working. As you can see, it is extremely easy to move all your signals inside a service and make a reusable service instead of a RxJS service. And actually, if you are interested to know all features of signals, make sure to check this video also.